Today I'm taking an overnight Amtrak train from Denver to Chicago. This 19 hour train ride will cover an impressive 1,000 miles from the front range of the Rocky Mountains to the shores of Lake Michigan. I'll share with you my entire experience from my private room in the sleeping car, the meals you get on board, to the viewing car as we cross over the largest river in North America. You can even shower on the train. My entire journey just ahead. Welcome aboard. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you find me at Denver's Union Station. I'm taking a train to Chicago. It's gonna be a 19 hour overnight Amtrak train. I'm excited to share with you the entire experience from beginning to end as we head to Chicago, Illinois. My journey begins at the iconic Union Station in Denver. This historic landmark first opened in 1881 with major renovations completed in 2012. The train was running a few minutes behind, but after catching up with some work, it was finally time to start heading to the boarding platform. I was greeted by an Amtrak employee who scanned the boarding pass and directed me to my train car, which for today was number 631. These train cars are massive and part of Amtrak Superliner, which are only used in 11 routes across the United States. My room was on the lower level of the sleeping car. The hallways are narrow since there are sleeping rooms on each side and each end of the car. There are different type of rooms on this train, but let's review them later in the video. I'm finally settled and before departing, an Amtrak employee stopped by to offer in-room dining. I was starving so I quickly reviewed the menu available in my room and placed the order. This would be my first meal ever on board a train so I am super excited. We're finally on board the train leaving Denver, Colorado and on our way to Chicago. The first thing here is our dinner. We have a three cheese tortellini. We have a flourless chocolate cake and of course a Corona to start. And just like that, the train begins to slowly depart from the station starting my 19 hour journey to Chicago. Along the route, the train will be making 16 stops. The first and last station in Colorado will be in Fort Morgan. As I enjoy this incredibly delicious chocolate cake, the train starts picking up speed and soon will be time to set up the bed in my room. All right, it's bedtime, so I need to figure out how to set this up. Hey guys, so the bed wasn't really too bad to set up and it's pretty comfy. You got two pillows, two blankets, it's perfect for the night. We just left the last station in Colorado and very soon we're entering Nebraska. I'm gonna be getting up very early in the morning so I can check out the station in Omaha. And then when it's bright outside, I'll give you a full tour of the room. I'll show you the dining cart, the observation cart. So a lot of exciting things coming up tomorrow. So make sure you keep watching the video. I'll see you in the morning. guys we just left nebraska and i think we're crossing into iowa right now it's 7 a.m we're gonna go upstairs and see what's for breakfast at the dining cart and then we'll complete the tour of uh, everything that's upstairs after a restful night i'm ready to start exploring the train which is officially called the california zephyr as it runs between chicago and san francisco Right behind the sleeping car is the dining car, which is exclusively available to those staying in the private rooms, offering complimentary breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A separate car offers a cafe with food for purchase to those traveling in coach. 
I just ordered my breakfast and now it's time to enjoy some coffee on a beautiful rainy day across the state of Iowa. For breakfast, I ordered Amtrak's Signature Railroad French Toast. They're dusted with powdered sugar and served with maple syrup. Now, I don't know about you, but I think they look delicious, so I'm ready to enjoy this sweet breakfast. <music> To finish my coffee, I walked over the observation car, which is just after the dining area. The observation car has floor-to-ceiling windows, providing an amazing sightseeing experience. Later in the video, we'll come back here for breathtaking views as the train makes its way across the Mississippi River. Back in the room from breakfast, and I think it's a really good time to give you guys a quick tour of my room here in the train, which is actually called a roomette, and it's designed for two people. There is a larger bedroom available that is designed for more people, and it has a bathroom inside. And this one doesn't have a bathroom inside, but here in this car, they do have bathrooms that are dedicated for people that are staying in the roomette, and they're just around the corner, so that's really nice. The room is very comfortable, so let's go ahead and give you a quick tour. As soon as you walk in the room to the right, there is the closet, there is a coat hook. The closet itself is pretty small. You can probably fit in a jacket or a coat, some towels in case you want to take a shower. There is a second coat hook. And here to the left is the first seat, which you can turn into a bed. You can also recline it. They provide the pillows. There is a night light. You can control the temperature here in the room, electrical outlet privacy curtains, they provide water. There is also the menu and that's the tray table. This is the second seat, which again, you can recline or turn it into a bed. It has its own separate reading light. You can control the music. This is to turn off the light here in the room, but you can also use it to turn on a night light, which is really nice. And then with this, you can call the attendant in case you want to order food or need anything for the room. There is a mirror. They do provide tissues. And here's to lock the room from the inside. I don't think there is a way to lock it from the outside, but at least it provides some safety that you can lock it from the inside. Privacy curtains right here. And it took me a little bit to figure this out, but these are actually steps that you use to set up the bed and then to go to bed once you set it up. Tray table, super convenient and easy to use. It folds both sides in case you're having dinner for two. And then it goes back in and just like that. We're getting closer to the Mississippi River, so I'm gonna go upstairs and see if we can see it from the second floor. That'll be super nice. I am back at the observation car for the grand moment of this journey as the train crosses over the Mississippi River, which borders state lines between Iowa and Illinois. We are now at the last stop in the state of Iowa. The observation car is filling up as we get ready to cross over the largest river in North America. And after 18 hours on the train, we've made it to the last stop before we get to the final destination. From this point, it'll be about an hour until we get to Chicago's Union Station. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, our final station stopped just a few minutes. Our very last Chicago's Union Station. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Chicago will be our final station stop. This is the termination for the California South. Here on the California Zephyr, go out, buckle up, be safe, be kind to each other, have a great rest of your week. Welcome to Chicago. After 19 hours, we made it to Chicago. Thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you back in the channel very soon.